Hello everyone and welcome to episode 13 of Minecraft Vanilla Super Flat Survival. Um, and in the last episode, I want to show you the progress that I made. What I did is I added this additional um, dispenser right here. I filled up m almost all of the dispensers with bone meal. Uh, there's a few that are completely filled up and others that are not so filled up because I just don't have the bone meal to do it. Um, if you notice, the redstone line kind of ends right here, and the thing is, um, it still powers this. It still powers this dispenser here because um, it kind of ends here, but it still gives electricity to that. Dis uh, well, the signals to that dispenser here because uh, it goes from this dispenser to this dispenser. Um, so that way, I actually was able to save one piece of redstone on that top right there. Um, and as you can see, when I press it, it's extremely loud. Um, and it kind of clocks. This is the redstone clock that ticks very, very quickly, dispensing the uh, bone meal onto the uh, farmland. And um, let me demonstrate here is that, for example, if I want to make a bunch of wheat to trade with villagers uh, but first let me just uh, turn the uh, I don't know if it's uh, blocks Yeah, I think it's blocks so yes and as you can see that definitely made it a bit quieter let's just make it one percent so that way I can barely hear it because it's very annoying so uh, I have I take my stone hoe I just uh, hoe this thing up uh, right down there I have the water under the dispensers for the um, to make this wet ground and some people think that I'm wasting bone meal right now but actually as you can see inside here the bone meal is actually only being used up when I place something here so nothing is actually being used up as of this point so uh, I go here and then I start placing it and then it starts bone mealing it then I run like so um, and then I just do this until I have enough uh, wheat or whatever I need to do to trade with the villagers. So uh, once I get my villager breeder up and trading post up, this is what I'm going to be using to get emeralds. So this is kind of my uh, indirect emerald farm. So um, yeah, and by the time that I go here, it has already uh, bone meal the whole thing. I mean, I could have made it smaller, but I prefer having it large because, I mean, I prefer having it six... I prefer having uh, six dispensers because that way it's the easiest and the fastest to make bulk amounts of uh, uh, wheat and other stuff. So I will also use this to breed the villagers because, oh actually no, uh, villagers only need food to breed in 1.8. So um, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to make a villager breeder, but I'm somehow going to do it. Uh, and... I'm gonna use the wheat and uh, whatever that the villagers want to trade with them to get emeralds. I can also trade with them uh, the rotten flesh that I don't need. Or wait, or is that, or was that only added in 1.8? Yeah, I don't really know Minecraft 1.7.10 very well, but I did decide to play in 1.7.10 because, in my opinion, it's one of the best versions of Minecraft before it became kind of ruined. Because in 1.8, they kind of changed some of the mechanics of the rails, and uh, they also changed some spawning mechanics. Um, they added some more stuff. They um, they also made a different F3 interface in which they have local difficulty and stuff like that. Uh, and also, in my opinion, 1.7.10 actually also has the best mods in Minecraft, so that's also one of the reasons why I uh, prefer it to other versions. And as you can see, it's still going strong, so... Let's go and see how much, wow, sunset, uh, sunrise so beautiful. So I did manage to acquire quite a bit of wheat here, so I already have about three stacks. So uh, let me just go inside and see. Um, well, we still have bone meal in most of the dispensers, so that's nice too. And all of this farmland area that was taken up by just uh, having to manually farm has been compressed to this tiny size. So I can use this area for something like an iron golem grinder or something like that or just another another redstone build so i actually did manage to get some more redstone from a witch from some witches so i did get more and let me just whenever i'm gonna get bones they're all gonna go to the uh um, some automatic farm so and i totally ran out of bones i don't have any more bones let me just uh, put the blocks up just to make it 
because I just like the sound the chests make. And as you can see, I used to have a bit more items here, and I just transferred them to the bulk storage area right here. Uh, here's all my rotten flesh, uh, and as you see, I don't have any extra bones. Here's all my arrows. I don't have any string. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I use it to make some uh, wool. And here's all my gunpowder and other is where the music discs will go and other really like bulk uh, drops. So. But I think I explained that already. Wow, what a large tree. And one thing that I'm actually planning to do... Oh, yes. Please get me some redstone. Uh, and like I said before, my next redstone project will be my uh, AFK... Um, it will be my AFK um, cobblestone generator without... Oh. Okay, we got some glowstone there. Um, and like I said before, my next project will be an AFK cobblestone generator without the use of hoppers and I have a tutorial on that as well if you want to see the tutorial please go to my channel page and uh, I have the tutorial up there somewhere um, and so it's basically uh, fully well it's not really a fully automatic it's a semi-automatic AFK cobblestone generator which can be AFK for about four or five hours and then I can get a bunch of cobble from that Okay, I gotta go and put some excess wood there. And another thing that I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to, um... I'm going to try to deconstruct the village there. And it sounds a bit crazy, but actually, uh, I have to go and deconstruct this whole village there. Because, uh, what I'm planning to do is I'm actually planning to have, um... I'm planning to have an artificial village built. And by that, I mean that I'm gonna have, um... By that, I mean that I'm gonna have, like, a fake village built somewhere around here, so, but to do that, I have to deconstruct this village here, and I can do that by just breaking all of the doors here so it doesn't register as a village, um, but actually, on the other hand, one issue will be also that I have a bunch of, um, uh, wooden doors at my base, so I hope the villagers don't recognize that as a village. I hope that they don't recognize my base as a village when I um, try and make an artificial breeder and uh, an artificial trading post, which I'm going to have. I also have to find uh, a good design for a Minecraft 1.7.10 villager breeder because I, haven't, I have not actually found any good designs on the internet. I mean, I have found a good 1.8 grinder, but... Uh, I, no, I mean a 1.8 breeder, but that's a different story. Um, and as you can see, that glowstone over there, we should add more glowstone there since I've already gotten four glowstone dust. Let me craft some more. Oh, is that a witch that I see there? I hope so. Uh, let me see. Yep, there's a witch here. Now let's hope it drops some more glowstone or redstone. Um, nope, I don't. I don't think it dropped anything. Or what did what did it drop? But uh, anyway, I didn't get anything. Or we got some gunpowder, some useless uh, crap that we usually get from witches. And every so often we do get some useful things from witches. So let me just. Oh, wrong one. Um, so I'm gonna take that glowstone up there, and I'm gonna place another one right there. Um, so I think this will be quite a short episode, uh, because I'm gonna build, um, I might build a boat, a rapid transit system to the closest village that I have to take and grab some villagers and bring them over here for a villager breeder. Uh, but actually, on the other hand, maybe I should just, uh, make a nether portal. Yeah, I think my next goal would be to make a nether portal because I don't really want to... I don't really want to um, make a villager breeder before I go to the nether. I think that I should go to the nether before I make a villager breeder just because I usually do it that way. So, uh, let's see. So, there's going to be one here. And there's going to be... I'm just making sure that it looks symmetric and everything. Uh, so if there's going to be one right over here, then there's going to be one here. So there's going to be one right here. Um, or let me just place blocks for reference. There's going to be one right here. And then there's going to be one here. No, it's not going to be symmetrical, unfortunately. Um, what happens if I actually... I probably should use the um, shovel right here just for quicker access. Uh, but what happens if I place one every other block? 
Okay, I don't know. They always seem to go next to the glowstone here. So, um, so that's going to be one, two, three. Yeah, I don't think it will be symmetric that way either. Um, well, I don't want to have it too often, so I think I'm just going to place one right here. Um, now let me make sure that I don't run out of oxygen or accidentally fall down there. And there we go. It's now a bit more lit up. And every time I get another piece of glowstone, this is where I'm going to put it. Uh, and as soon as I start going to the nether, that's when I'm going to get much more glowstone. So, um, My only current source of glowstone is, of course, this mob grinder, which isn't very efficient uh, based on village spawnings. So... I did die one time when I was jumping down, so that was really stupid. Uh, okay, we did get some 13 ink sacks right here. Um, so, I was thinking about the, the place where we're actually going to... I was actually thinking where we're going to actually put uh, our nether portal once we get it. And I'm thinking that we should probably put it somewhere... Somewhere around here, so... Uh, but before I do that, I'm planning to make around a little um, fence over there, and I'm also going to have to craft a fence gate. I also have another piece of glowstone right here, make sure not to break it. Um, I'm also going to make a fence gate somewhere around here. Uh, let me see. Yep, this is the crafting recipe for the fence gate. I'm going to take some cobblestone walls. Um, take all that I have. I'm also going to surround the um, nether portal with a cobblestone wall because most of uh, Minecraft, most of us Minecraft players know that what happens if you don't surround a nether portal with cobblestone walls is that they start spawning uh, zombie pigmen and stuff, which is really annoying. And I really should deconstruct this structure right here because there's no reason for it to exist since there's no chickens anymore. And for some reason they do keep on glitching out, like I said before. Um, so I need this space probably to extend my cobblestone wall a bit more so that I can have uh, my nether portal fit there and uh, just oh it's night that quickly and actually when I get enough redstone I'm planning on com making a fully automatic um, dye slash flower farm out of here and if some of you are wondering what these mean is that um, I'm standing this is the area where I'm supposed to pour the water in and right here is where I bone meal so I bone meal here I bone meal right here and I bone meal right here and I bone meal right here and it basically fills up this whole area with flowers and uh, tall and grass and tall grass depending depending on how you bone meal it, and then I put water right here, and then it basically flushes out the whole area, and it's very efficient, because the water actually naturally stops here, and around here, I think I'm going to have some, uh, um, some hoppers, which pick up all the items, but that's really far into the future, uh, that's really end game stuff, because that's only when I'm going to have a really good iron farm, because hoppers require lots of iron, so that's when we'll have all of these awesome, uh, fully automatic redstone builds. Um, now I'm planning to extend the cobblestone wall just one block right here, so let me just extend it really quick right here. Um... I'm just eyeballing it right now. It's not nothing official, um, and this is where I'll have my uh, fence gate. So I think I should craft up. I'm gonna take some. Uh, I think I'm also gonna have a chest here and uh, a double chest. I'm gonna grab some chests from my uh, chest at home, and uh, I'm also gonna take a furnace and a crafting table just so it look good and. Uh, what if I do need a furnace near my nether portal? Uh, so let me take the furnace real quick from here. Uh, two chests right here for a double chest. Uh, now let me craft up another chest right here. Uh, no, I mean uh, crafting cable. So. Um, I should probably also craft another... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to craft another... Uh, I'm going to craft another fence skate just in case. Oh, let's just make it two so I could have access to it from all of the sides, just in case. Um, so that way I'm going to have three fence gates. 
around here. And I was thinking of actually replacing some of these doors with fence gates, just so when I get villagers, they don't register register them as doors. But in the future, when I get villagers and when I make an iron farm, I'm going to replace these with iron doors, just because they look better and they're safer against zombie invasions and stuff like that and mobs. Um, so I'm also probably going to put one right here. And just for that matter, put one right here. Also going to have some uh, torches all around the place here. Um, put a chest up here. Or no, it actually might be bad because the zombie pigmen might be able to jump out of here. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, actually, I just got a great idea. Instead of putting it down there, I'm going to be able to put it down here so that way the zombie pigmen won't be able to escape and the zombie pigmen do spawn quite often here and I, and I don't want zombie pigmen roaming around my island so it's a good idea to uh, make sure that they don't get out of this enclosure at least so um, so this is gonna be my little base of operations here now I'm gonna build up this area right here so let me see where is my nether portal actually going to be? I think it's going to be these two blocks here. So, um, I'm probably going to use dirt for this. Let me replace that right here. Um, let me see. Um, I'm going to go place some lava right there. And I think that I'm actually going to use lava for the whole thing. I might actually make some... Oh, wait, I just heard something burn up in the lava. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how the redstone thing is going to work. Um, so, uh, um, yeah, I kind of forgot exactly how the redstone glitch works. Um, I think I'm just going to do this conventional casting method uh, because... And at first, I did not really want to cast the portal because I thought, well, lava is so expensive and I need more lava, and lava is a very important resource. But then I remembered that when I get to the nether, I'm going to be able to get all the lava from there. So I shouldn't really s I shouldn't really be too scared to lose the lava right now. So so here goes nothing. There we go. Now I'm going to build a... Now I'm going to do this one right here, and I'm going to cast it like that. So let me go grab some more lava from there. Um, cast that real quick right here. And that's basically how I'm going to make another portal. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is also I have a village, the village over there, it actually has two blacksmiths, so that means four lava sources, so as soon as I get lava sources, I'm going to cast it up more, and that's actually what I'm going to be doing um, off camera, and if I do need more lava, I might even take some lava from there, over there I have a cobblestone generator that has one, one uh, source of lava. Uh, I might also take some lava from my house, although no, I'm actually, no, I need at least one cobblestone generator just in case. But if I really, really do need it, and I only need just one lava source, I will do it because I can just go to the nether and, um, oh, actually I do need another lava source to light the portal because I need to take some lava port right here and then have like, um, uh, have wool on top of it and then it will light the wool on fire. And then um, it will basically light the wool on fire, and it will light the portal. So I do actually have to have at least um, one lava source that does not go inside the obsidian. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm gonna go and find more villages, maybe in this episode. If I mean in the off-camera work, if I do need more lava. So uh, thank you very much for watching. This was Minecraft Uh, and see you all in the next video.